Hi, my name is Stephen Russell. I am the Harry Vegetarian. I am owner of Becoming Sound, becomingsound.com. I'm going to make salsa cruda. I usually put it on pasta. You could use it on other things. There's not much of summer left, but there is a lot of basil. I pick a bunch of basil, I washed it, and I spun it dry in this salad spinner. Then what I do is I pick the tops so that the plant doesn't flower. So I get rid of the flower, and then I get rid of the stem by pinching it that way and putting just the leaves, just the leaf part and not this stem part into a bowl. So I have separated out the leaves from the bigger flower parts and the stem parts. These are a little tough a little chewy. It looks like a lot of leaves. I take them and I just keep ripping them over and over. So I ripped and ripped until almost every leaf is, is split apart and they've started to break down and some of the juice has started to come out. And that smells really good. So they started to wilt, most of them, and they're broken apart. A little bit of sea salt. Move over the top. Pepper. Garlic. Taken four fairly big cloves of garlic, smash them, remove the peel, and then I cut them up into the size that I would want to bite into. So for me, that's pretty small. They're not going to get cooked. So about the size of raw garlic that you'd want to have in your mouth. Looks about right. Put the chopped garlic on top of the basil. Olive oil, about that much. Jersey tomatoes, right from the farm market. Washed. Then I cut them down the middle, and in half again. Cut out kind of the core and any spoiled part. Tough core, it's a little spoiled. And again, I cut them up into the size that I'd want to put in my mouth on a fork. I leave them pretty chunky, but not huge. I guess you would say bite sized. When I take all of these chunky, chunked up tomatoes, put them in. With the basil, the salt, the olive oil, the pepper, and the garlic. And with my hands, once, I turn it all so that the, everything gets mixed up. That something of everything in here gets onto every side of every tomato. The salt will help draw out liquid. 
out of the garlic and the tomatoes, and in the bottom of here will form quite a bit of liquid, and that's the sauce with all of these chunks in it. I want to make sure at least the basil, the salt, everything gets on to all the surfaces inside every tomato chunk. Don't waste any. And then the way this cooks, it cooks all day. I'll make this in the morning for supper at 6 or 7 or 8. I put it on a stove. I take one of these paddles so that throughout the day, every time I think of it, like once an hour, once every half hour, go in and stir it up again. And of course, I cover it, put that on top, and then I see it, and it reminds me to stir it all day long. Get the juices, all the juice that comes out, keep stirring the salt, the olive oil, the pepper, everything, and the garlic all mixed together often, all day. Then I take it, put it on top of freshly cooked pasta, stir it up, and you have salsa cruda. The Hairy Vegetarian, becomingsound.com.